Dr. Patricia Bea from California will begin by sharing her pioneering work on laser FACO. Hello, I'm Dr. Patricia Bath, and I'd like to tell you about an exciting new innovation in cataract surgery, which I call laser FACO. Laser FACO is a new technique in which laser energy, rather than ultrasound energy, is used to fragment the lens nucleus. In standard Kelman FACO emulsification, the lens nucleus is mechanically fragmented and emulsified through a three millimeter limbal incision. In laser FACO, the lens nucleus is photo decomposed through a one millimeter incision. Note the simultaneous transmission of laser radiation and irrigation and aspiration through a one millimeter ophthalmic microprobe. One of the distinct advantages of laser FACO is the easy application of endocapsular cataract surgery. The advantages of laser FACO are small incision, one millimeter or less, lack of stress to the zonules, and the preservation of the integrity of the capsular bag. Note the comparative size of the optical fiber delivery system versus the ultrasound delivery system. Now I'll demonstrate surgical techniques applicable in laser FACO. Here is a human eye bank eye. The age of this donor was 60 years. The cataract surgery begins with a one millimeter diamond knife incision followed by a small puncture anterior capsulotomy made with a 26 gauge needle. A viscoelastic is injected to separate the cortical fibers. The silica quartz optical fiber is introduced and directed towards the lens nucleus. Eczema laser radiation is transmitted via the fiber into the lens nucleus resulting in phaco ablation. As we zoom out, we can see that the capsule and zonules are intact except for the capsulotomy. In this next video, you see a one millimeter micro-ophthalmic probe which was developed for laser phaco. The core of this probe consists of an optical fiber surrounded by an irrigation aspiration sleeve. In this human cadaver eye, you observe the actual simultaneity of laser radiation, irrigation, and aspiration demonstrated for the first time. The laser repetition rate was 20 hertz. Approximately five millijoules of laser radiation was delivered with each pulse. These video segments have demonstrated laser FACO using eczema laser radiation at 308 nanometers. The ideal wavelength for laser FACO has not yet been determined. 308 nanometers is but one of the many eczema wavelengths available. I and my colleagues at the Laser Medicine Center of Berlin designed a systematic study to determine the most effective wavelength for lens ablation. Our first step was to determine the ablation threshold for human lenses. In this experimental setup, the laser radiation was focused through a series of lenses and pinholes onto isolated human and bovine lenses. Here is an example of a human lens which received eczema laser radiation at various energy densities. Note the precise ablation drill hole. In a scanning electron photomicrograph, note the thoroughness of the ablation in this human lens specimen. The ablation threshold for human lenses was determined to be 0.5 joules per centimeter squared. At an energy density of approximately three joules per centimeter squared, 10 microns of lens was ablated with each pulse. Here is a bovine lens illustrating similar precise drill holes created by the eczema laser. 
when the radiation from the eczema is coupled with a fine silica quartz optical fiber, precise ablation of the crystalline lens can be performed. Note the ablation craters created in this rabbit lens specimen. In summary, I have demonstrated a new experimental technique for cataract surgery called laser phaco. You have observed eczema laser radiation transmitted through an optical fiber into the lens. I have presented histopathology demonstrating the effectiveness and precision of this technique. In addition, a new ophthalmic handpiece has been developed and the systematic investigations of effective wavelengths has begun. Future research remains to be done in order to determine the optimal wavelength and safety and effectiveness. In conclusion, laser phaco is the next new frontier for cataract surgeons to allow us to perform endocapsular cataract surgery with the ultimate precision, safety, and effectiveness.